All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to start designing a house. Uh, if you've watched the first video, we went over some basic concepts. We'll go over that a little bit here, but uh, we're going to get more advanced. So the first thing we're going to start with is that we're going to design a building and, and do a basic layout. Uh, what's going to happen is that I want to make sort of a U-shape pattern for my uh, first floor plan. So I have a courtyard in back, and then on top, uh, we're going to go from there based off of the first floor plan. So what you can do to get just basic layout is you can go to your massing and site, and then you can make an in-place mass. You don't need to save that. Comes over here. You can name it anything you want. I'm just going to go with the mass one. So we're going to start with our line. Um, I'm going to make this first one. I know that up in this area, I'm going to want the kitchen. Then I'm going to put uh, the bathroom uh, and the stairs and then dining room. So I think just to start it out, I'll make that 30 feet long. I'm going to go 30 feet over this way. I'm going to go 18 feet up. You can see I'm going in increments of two. That's because most lumber um, sizes come in increments of two, so it helps cut down on waste. So this is just going to give you a general, general shape. We're going to go to the 3D view, which is up here. And then we're going to create this form, create from a solid. Click right there. I guess we got to redo it. It already, already starts, uh, gives you kind of a toggle switch so you can pull it up and down. But uh, what we're going to do is, because we already have it set up, as you can see on our main floor plan, uh, it's not there. So we're going to go to the section and see what kind of level it's at. Here we go. It's pulled up on, onto the second floor. So we're going to go back down and we're going to bring it on the main floor. We're going to lock it on that main floor. So we went over what main top of subfloor means and all that in the video before. So you can go back if you need a refresher. I'm going to bring it there. I'm going to lock it there. And then if we look at our 3D view, we can see that it's ready to go. Um, so once we put it that in, we're going to hit finish. We're going to go back to our main floor. And we're going to, we're going to quickly see if this layout works. We can actually move it to the center here. Uh, here are your elevations. Um, tags that you'll be able to click on to see an elevation quickly. Those are already set up. You can see that your floor is where you want it. Go back here and let's grab let's grab some things and see if we can see uh, make this floor plan work. So we're going to go up to components and we're going to grab some kitchen, um, kitchen cabinetry that's already in there. Uh, we're going to just do a, a base two door. We're going to do it in uh, you know, 24 inch wide one. We're just going to place a couple. We're going to place it a little bit off off the wall. And they are disappearing. And sometimes this happens. So why would it be disappearing? That's because you got a mass right there. So an easy thing you can do is just go to wireframe and then you can see where they're at. So you can see right now my back kitchen is working. Uh, you got some space on each side for doors. You got a two, four, six, eight, ten foot kitchen right now. If you were doing a different outer, different house or bigger house, you can make it bigger. We're going to take this. We're going to want an island, so we're going to grab all of them. We're going to hit MM for mirror, and then I don't want to. I do want to copy it. So if I unclicked it, it would move all of them in the mirror fashion. But I want it to copy, so I'm going to hit M there. I'm just going to go off this front face, and it's going to put it right in front of it. So for an island, I'm going to bring that four feet out, give you some space to work right there. And now we have we have a back kitchen, and then we have an island. Uh, we'll put the tops on later and a bunch of other things, but we just want to do kind of a spatial layout. The next thing I'm going to do is grab um, a dining room table. So if you've loaded our, our families in there, you should have groups already. Uh, down here, groups, models. We're going to do the dining glass table, and we're just going to drag it out there. And we're going to put that in the front. This is the front side of the house, and we're just going to place it there so it works. We're also going to put the living room right here so that it has a view back to the courtyard. And to do that, we're going to put uh, we'll put a we'll just put a sofa. We'll just grab the sofa, put it over there, and then we'll put a love seat over here too. Now we want these rotated like this. We're going to hit 180. We're going to turn 180 degrees. We're going to do the same for the for the sofa. And that 180 degrees, that's me typing it. And already we're seeing it, we're, we're kind of tight already. Um, but we're going to put in, we're, we're going to need to fit in a bathroom here and a stairs. 
So to do that, let's let's go to the stairs first. Here's your stair tool. Just simply click on it. You want to make sure that you're going to the right height. So you're going to top start off at the main top of subfloor, and then you want to go to the upper top of subfloor. Um, it's you can see right here is that as a desired number of risers. So we're going to start with our run, and we're going to we're going to do half of them first. So we're just going to do eight of them. Here we go. And if we zoom in, you can see eight risers created, eight remaining down in the left corner. So now we know they're three feet wide. We're going to go four foot six off because if this is three feet wide, the midpoint is going to be a foot and a half away from that. So we're going to go four foot six. Draw this other one. We're good to go. And then now we're going to draw the landing. I'm going to sketch the landing. Uh, by code it, it, the landing has to be as wide as the stairs are, so we're going to make it three feet. You can just type that in. This is going to be six feet, three feet, and we're good to go. Okay, we're going to see now, now that we have, yep, now that we have a section, uh, we have our sections in place, you can click on your section, you can move it over there, you can right click, go to view, bam. So you can see that it starts on the main top of subfloor, and it ends right before the main uh, upper top of subfloor. And that's okay because your floor box is going to be in here, so this is going to make your last step. What's wrong here is this landing, so we're going to have to move that landing down. So we're going to go back, we're going to edit stairs, we're going to grab onto the landing, and we're going to, come, we're going to pull that down. So up here I went and did the relative height, and I just changed it. Now it's in between uh, your first run and your second run, and that's where we want to be, so we're going to hit OK. And we're good to go. So you got your stairs in. Uh, stairs are tricky. You have to play with them. Um, sometimes they don't work. So don't don't be afraid if you're not getting stairs right away. So let's go back to our main floor plan. So we got that. We got the stairs. We want to move them over here closer. Um, we're just going to put some dimensions. DI for dimensions. So we know what we're playing with. We got 30 feet there. 30 feet there, and 30 feet there. Right here is going to be your entrance a little later. Uh, we're not going to go into too much detail on the interior, but you'll probably put the cloak closet right there. We need a bathroom, and it just doesn't look like we're going to have enough space. So I'm going to take this right here, uh, the mass that we made, and then since I put the dimensions on there, now I can control this side by the dimensions. So I'm going to, I'm going to say we're going to need 36 feet. Perfect. That bumped that out six feet. I'm going to take this, move this back three feet. Again, we got to make some room for walls. And here, let's click on this, edit it. So let's do DI. Let's do the dimension again. So this is now 21 feet. I don't want that one. That's an odd number. And two, I don't think it. It might need to be that big. So actually, I'll leave that. I actually want it a little bit wider. This is 14 feet. I'm going to make it 16 feet. Um, and then I'm going to make this actually 22 feet. Just make a nice, even two foot increments. And I'm going to hit finish. I'm good to go. Move that over. Move this down. Grab all of this. Click highlight, move that down, and I'm going to move this over over here. You'll have your TV in there later, and then maybe we'll put some. If we go to our components, let's put a chair in there. There you go. Right this way. Let's put two of them. So now your space planning is, is working pretty well. Um, there's other components that you can finish it off later and add detail. This is just more schematic design. So um, I think a bathroom is going to fit in there. So I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to go to the outside. And what we want to do is that we want to do our walls. Now uh, to do our walls, remember that we only want them, if we go back to our section that's already made, We only want our stud walls going from the top of subfloor to the main top of the plate because our exterior walls are going to cover those floor boxes later. 
So if we go to a 3D view, and then click on this, actually, masking the structure. So right here, we click on walls under the masking and structure, and then click down on your walls, and you have all your different options. We're going to do um, an exterior with uh, five and a half to six inches with half inch gypsum on the interior. We're going to click on that, and then we can easily click on all of our walls, place them in there. Now we want to make sure they're facing the right way, so we're going to go in, and as you can see on the inside, there's your gypsum, and on the outside, that's fair. That's perfectly how we want it. Um, let's go back here. Okay. Let's add a floor box. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Let's choose that. It's not letting me do that right now. Uh, we'll figure out that later. Um, do that later. So we got our first floor done, ready to go, um, just schematically. Now let's do our upper floor. Now normally how it come in is like this. And you'll go to your upper floor and you'll be like, how am I supposed to design off of this? I can't see anything. Um, it does me no good. So over in your properties tab, you'll see an underlay. And then you want to put the main top of subfloor uh, as an underlay, hit apply, and then you can see what you made before. So let's let's play let's play with um, again let's play with the massing. Let's create another mass. We'll call this one mass two. We'll draw lines. We got our stair in place. Nine foot six. We'll put nine foot right there. So over here, uh, the client wants a little seating area that extends out. So we'll extend that out. Four feet. It's going to be pretty big. We're going to go 12 feet. We're going to line that with that extra wall in a sec. And then here's going to be their master bedroom. 18 feet. 16 feet. We're good to go. You can hit TR for they, them to connect. You can hit AL for you to align. Click on what where you want it to go and what you want it to align to. Um, and then finish mass. Let's go to our section. Make sure it's in the right place. And it is not. Where did it go? Three of you, let's search for it. Oh, that's what we got to do. Let's edit it. And create There we go. Click on it. And we forgot to hit create solid form. Bam. Now we got it. Now we're going. Let's go back to our uh, section. If you only have a couple windows open, this is your switch window tab. You can hit control tab to kind of hand through them. Normally it takes you to the last one you went to. Again, A line, A L or A line. Lock that in place. That's ready to go. Hmm. Now let's go to a 3D view, see how it looks. So it's a pretty pretty interesting shape. Good start so far. Not too bad. Let's go back upstairs. And let's let's uh, let's make some walls again. Again, the easiest way to do that. Mass in sight, walls, as the exterior one that we want. Click, 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 click. We are ready to go. Let's go upstairs, make sure that it put the gypsum on the interior, and it did. Let's go to the 3D. And let's grab these. And... So you hit tab to cycle through, and then you can grab what you want. And then I deleted the mass. See how it opens up there? So if I keep hitting tab, single wall, single face, it goes through all the options, grabs all the walls. There you go, grabs the mass. So now what we want to do is we want to put the floor box out. You could you could lay out the upstairs too. You could go to the upstairs. And